Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, I'm really happy today. Uh, yesterday night, I, I switched on the membership uh, facility for our channel. And um, uh, immediately we have four members who have joined there. So first off, I want to say a huge thanks to our amazing subscribers for all their support and getting us to this stage where we are able to inaugurate our membership uh, facility. And to our newly mint, uh, minted members, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks, Inf. Uh, Lenny Holistica, uh, Jesse Isaacson, and uh, Yasem Nataraju. Uh, I do not feel alone in the membership section anymore, uh, thanks to your company. And I'm hoping that uh, more of you uh, subscribers can uh, join us here in the members uh, uh, section and we'll have a lot of fun. Uh, that said, uh, uh, my members, new members, if you have any uh, special requests, please let me know and I will try to make it happen as a big thank you for you guys. And um, the only request I have is that uh, make it a reasonable request, not something out of this world, and uh, that would be fine. So that said, today's topic is going to be Ginkgo Bioworks. There is a lot of things happening out there, and I'm absolutely excited about Ginkgo. I'll explain the reasons why. So let's get started. <music> Welcome back friends. I'm going to tell you a brief anecdote, just bear with me. Uh, as a child, you know, I was growing up in India and um, we had a Diwali festival where we'd light up firecrackers and stuff like that. So one of them used to be a kind of a bomb, uh, which would have a long fuse so that we can light the fuse and run away and be at a safe distance when it exploded. Uh, sometimes some of these bombs would have a little bit of a damp fuse and uh, it would not burn fast enough or it would just fizzle out. So in the dark we would wait in a distance and look at the bomb and wonder whether it's going to burst or not. And sometimes when we approached close to it, uh, it might explode. So it was always um, a very stressful time if one of those uh, crackers came to our hands. But right now the reason I'm telling you this anecdote is because DNA used to look like one of those crackers and um, uh, one never knew whether it was going to take off, whether it was genuine or whether it was snake oil or whatever. Well, Jinko Bioworks now has uh, decisively proved that, uh, in my opinion at least, that it's a credible company. And uh, while the short seller uh, report caused a little bit of doubt and uh, bearishness, uh, then there was uh, the repeat order from Sumitomo, uh, which again, uh, I said, uh, causes a lot of optimism and uh, credibility for DNA. Uh, they expanded their earlier order and it was followed by the DARPA contract. And today we have two more news items that are absolutely positive for DNA. I'm going to talk about them today. Apart from that, earnings are due on 9th of August after the close of business hours and we may possibly get some more uh, positive catalyst and also the cash balance status. So if the uh, catalysts are all positive, I think uh, DNA will get further impetus for increasing the share price. But if there is something uh, unsavory in the uh, news reports, then in the quarterly report, then I think uh, things can go the other way very rapidly. The first positive news I have is that uh, DNA and the government of uh, uh, Republic of Panama uh, have uh, got into some kind of uh, agreement. So actually it is uh, Gorgas Memorial Institute for Health Studies in Panama uh, that announced that they have entered into a memorandum of understanding uh, with uh, Ginkgo Bioworks with the intent to develop and implement the biosecurity capabilities uh, in uh, Latin America. Uh, Ginkgo will support the Gorgas Institute as it uh, builds the uh, fo foundational bioeconomy for Panama. Uh, that will serve the country and its surrounding region. Uh, these efforts will bolster uh, the country by giving uh, key tools to detect, identify, and monitor current and future pathogens. It will also be um, uh, concentric, uh, Concentric's first Latin American programs. Friends, Concentric is the subsidiary of uh, DNA that does uh, geosecurity business and this is going to be the first Latin American program for Concentric as the company continues to expand its operations internationally. When we talk about governments placing orders with uh, DNA for geosecurity, I'll remind you that earlier uh, we had um, governments from Middle East placing such orders. So when governments place orders with various organizations, they do a little bit of vetting before uh, making those bets. So that also leads to credibility for Ginkgo Bioworks. The second news is that uh, Ginkgo is eligible to receive up to $400 million, uh, I think $490 million from Merck. And uh, in, uh, in, in return, DNA will have to 
um, apply the uh, its unique expertise and capabilities in cell engineering and process optimization to improve uh, production efficiency and increase yields. Under the terms of the collaboration, the $490 million amount includes upfront payment and commercial milestone payments. Usually we don't get dollar numbers uh, when there is a press release of collaboration from Ginkgo, but in this instance we have the dollar number but we don't know when and how much is going to be paid. Probably we'll find that out in the quarterly earnings report in forward-looking statements. That said, Jason Kelly, CEO and co-founder of Ginkgo Bioworks said, we are thrilled to leverage our platform to improve the production of biologics in collaboration with Merck. In particular, we, ut we will utilize some of our unique capabilities such as automated protocols to do predictive ultra-high throughput multiplexed screening product characterization and process optimization. It's exciting for our team to drive uh, impactful and uh, technically innovative work and to do so shoulder to shoulder with our counterparts at Merck. So Jason Kelly is definitely thrilled and personally I am thrilled. I am thrilled because just like uh, Sumitomo, Merck was already engaged with Ginkgo. I recollect that uh, somewhere around uh, last quarter of 2022, we had news of a collaboration between Ginkgo and Merck to improve the uh, API manufacturing process. API stands for Active Pharmaceutical Ingredient. And uh, so the latest deal means a resounding endorsement of the technology and capability of Ginkgo. And I think it's an extension of the API deal. Also, this means um, uh, the sales percentage of own company sales for Ginkgo will become a smaller percentage of the overall sales number. If you recollect, the short seller had the ma major complaint that uh, most of Ginkgo's sales is, is to its own subsidiaries and its own companies. Now, as a percentage, uh, own, uh, own company sales is going to shrink further because of this Merck deal and the Sumitomo deal and the DARPA deal. So I think it's starting to look better and all the short seller objections are getting wiped out slowly and steadily. Now let's look at the price chart because I want to make a few points to you uh, in the price chart. Here we are in the price chart for uh, Ginkgo Bioworks and each of these candles is a one day candle. And if you look at, um, first of all, I'd like to highlight this funnel that you see here. Um, it is narrow at the bottom and the channel is broad at the end. So what it means is that the price uh, range for Ginkgo over a period of time is going to be uh, widely divergent. So there will be opportunities to do a kind of swing trade. If you manage to buy closer to the lower line of support out here, you would have opportunities to sell closer to the upper line of resistance out there and make money. So this is one option. Again, friends, this is my personal opinion, not financial advice. So please do your due diligence before taking any decisions based on my video. That said, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, momentum out here, which is just about average. It, it has to pick up and uh, we can already see uh, that the MACD is tending towards the signal line. And how do I know that? I know that because this particular histogram out here has a lighter color and then it's going to become green uh, uh, when it crosses over the signal line. So that's why I know that it's uh, looking good. In terms of volumes, we see very less volumes today. And friends, today DNA opened very low and then it picked up um, uh, uh, value. And uh, I think it's all because of earnings jitters. Earnings are coming on the 9th of August after hours and it's expected that the EPS will be negative 0 0.86 uh, uh, cents and um, uh, the revenue is going to be 71.497 million. And I don't have to tell you this, but if any of these uh, estimates, especially the EPS estimate goes uh, every, it, uh, if it doesn't come uh, up to expectations, then the share price can fall sh very sharply. So what is happening out here is the doubt and the optimism battling each other. And we have a resistance here at 2.07 and you will see that we are just at the cusp of 2.07 and uh, 2.07 is the price at which DNA is right now. If it manages to break through this resistance, then we have another resistance at 2.12. So those are the twin resistances that is going to hold back uh, DNA until we come to the uh, earnings after hours tomorrow. We have this um, line of support, bullish line of support, which is this green line of uh, green diagonal line that is likely to support us. And we have formed a wedge out here, which is on a, a downward trend. So there is a risk that we may break out on the downside. So that is that possibility as well that we have to keep in mind. 
and um, that said i think uh, personally i am as happy as i can be uh, given that um, i sold um, covered calls on ginko my purchase price was $2.40 when i got the opportunity i sold cover calls at $5 uh, per share and uh, if ginko uh, did touch $5 and exceed $5 on 11th of august and uh, if my shares uh, get uh, called then uh, i i i won't feel bad because i would have made 100% uh, or more profit on it so i'm not worried and also another reason why i'm not worried is because as we saw the shape of the the uh, the price channel Uh, I think I'll get another opportunity to buy low and sell high on Ginkgo going forward. So uh, that's what I am thinking. And um, um, uh, overall, I think uh, Ginkgo is a winner, uh, but the extended market has to believe in it. I think that um, that belief is gradually happening and picking up steam, uh, especially after Sumitomo, DARPA and Merck all putting their money on DNA and sending a clear message to the market that DNA has got sound technology, which is able to deliver all the futuristic things that they talk about. So it's no longer science fiction. It is science fact. And um, big companies and governments are putting money into it. So personally, I think uh, I'm happy where I am with uh, DNA. And if I get the opportunity, I'll buy more. and um, uh, as you will see uh, uh, in the in the chart uh, dna is in a, a funnel ch- uh, funnel channel uh, which is um, bullish so there'll be more opportunities going forward so that's uh, that's my summary on uh, ginkgo bioworks now to the question of this video please let me know in your uh, uh, in your own words in your comment section uh, and now to the question for uh, this video please let me know in the comment section if you think ginkgo is the next multibagger by multibagger what i mean is that is this a share in which if you invest now you're going to make tremendous amount of money uh, in the uh, in the near term so you can just mark a yes or no in the comment section and i'll understand So with that said my friends I'd like to bring this video to an end this is earning season so I'm going to be coming up with more videos so please don't be surprised if you find another video before the end of the day and um, uh, special thanks again to our members uh, the brand new members who have joined me on day 1 in the membership section uh, so I look forward to uh, giving you some really good content and making it worth your while thanks and have a great day my friends bye for now